Just figured you might want to see, guy. So this is the piece. Check out ring gear. Busted. Case. Where the JB Weld is. Pinion gear. This gear. This gear. This gear. One whole assembly. One whole assembly. One whole assembly. One whole assembly. All the cases are cases in there. This case is cracked in there. Right in there. Felt good to say all that. To get the, the starter off this thing, you got <coughs> starter slides in there like that. You got a dial pin and a bolt. You gotta come from under here, down under here with a 10 millimeter shallow and an extension, or you can get it with a quarter inch P30. One important thing you'll need to do if somebody put a goop on them, you're gonna have to clean all these threads off or you take a chance of breaking a bolt or breaking a case when you reinstall it. Oh, I just heard something fall. Let's go ahead and look on it. Okay. This, where did that go? This about had to go. Something's really there. broken there. Yeah. So it could have went there. Trying to figure out where that washer went. We had a washer that fell out. This here, come over here. It also has. Well, I'll tell you, we've got a spinning gear. I'm going to guess it went there. Well, let's look. Do you see any, see the wear mark on the gear? Yeah, I would say that's where it went. So let's say it went there. So let's get a new tray. But first uh, initial thoughts, definitely is going to bell tell. There's something. This is all metal shavings. Unless it's from a cracked case. But it's, those are some pretty big chunks. So, like you said, let's grab us another tray. So we can set this stuff out. I don't know. Is this the case? No, it's this main case right here that's busted. See, it's got the hole right here. Yeah, okay. Now, see, here's your shift drum right here. And this is your shift detent holder. This is spring loaded. Um, what this does is hold you into a gear. When the shift drum turns, it changes your gears in the transmission and this is what holds it in gear so it was popping out of gear this is one thing i suspected 
um, but that's not the case. See, if this was broke or something, if this was up, then your shift drum could move around, allowing it to jump around in gears, but not the case. So we'll continue to the game. Um, Take the roller bearings. Okay. So, let's just pull this off. Let's get, give me a clean rag. I'm going to put this stuff on a rag on this rag. Sweet. I'm driving this head like a big tray. Here, let's use. Let's use. Good big tray. Okay. So. Wash it behind. Absolutely what I didn't think, huh? Wow. So that's kind of like a ring and pinion. Yes, it sure is. And I'm sure both those gears would be bad. Okay. Um, probably, this probably slides out of the assembly, but I'll bet we'll have to take off the other side case to do that, to slide it out. We definitely see a freaking problem. So I think we need to go around and take the other side case off. Okay. And then we can hopefully slide this out. So as we've suspected, we haven't tore one of these apart. I haven't and he hasn't either. But it's kind of got like a ring and pinion and man, there's just a bunch of chew marks. That's probably going to be some of the reason why it was popping in and out. Well, Which see. this was really not the reason why I was tearing it down. I was tearing it down because the 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 case had JB Weld in it. So I'm assuming they may have just threw this thing back together because it may have threw a chunk out the bottom of the case. I I don't know. We're not to that point yet. This will just save you a whole bunch of time in the future. Knowing where these bolts are so we know, see the vent, 
So I started with that one, and then you just whoop, follow them all the way around. So we're going to have to bear with us. We've never tore one of these apart. So <clears throat> we're kind of learning as we go here with this. But that's definitely going to be a, a big problem. Hopefully I don't have to end up buying a whole transmission. The whole transmission's just shy of $3,000. So I'm going to try to just get this case and hopefully all the parts that I need. But it might be cheaper in the end of the day to buy the whole trans. I don't know what I'm getting into yet. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to fix you. Uh, I have uh, I have a mount uh on the bottom of this gopro that's uh epoxied on so i can get get the uh gopro in and out of the case real fast and i was trying to loosen one of my set things on here and i broke it so i don't know hopefully you stay good all day we'll see Well, we can... well, that's really the other side. That's on there. Come on here. This is the shift drum. But see, that shift... So here's your low and high. That's what this does here. It either engages your low gear or your high gear. And this thing here. I think I reverse works on the thing. It does reverse there. It's not letting you share the same gear as low. Huh. Well, it could change the same gear ratio. Let's see, your shift drum has one, two, three. Okay, so this would be low, high, neutral, reverse. This is um, this is what your shift shaft. So 
because this is what turns your drum. Change. And this is cable operated shift shaft. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ryder. How are you? Stay away. Here's your sick. Keep your distance. Good to see you. Get donut. You still sick? What's wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing? Just need a day off school? <coughs> Alright, so we got it tore apart. This gear here is chewed up. So I need that gear. What happened was something on one of these come apart. You can see that gear is broke. It's chipped there on that gear. Chipped on that gear. I believe that gear was good. Yeah. So that's about the only gear. But something came through. Got into here. Spun around busted the case. NAJB welded it, and I was the idiot that bought it, and uh, I wasn't the idiot, it was lying people, and that case has got gouging in it, this case here, I'll try to do my best, if you look right there, it's cracked, so essentially to fix this, all this looking at thousands so i need the, all the bearings bearings are they, it's had metal through it so they're junk i need this gear which is a shaft this gear which is the whole shaft this gear this gear so i found this whole kit for about 900 dollars. i found a set of used cases just cases that's another 900 dollars Bearings and gaskets. I'm looking at another couple hundred or I could just I'm um, looking up other stuff right now, but I Can get the whole thing for 2,000 drop in ready This is a uh, pretty ridiculous if you ask me They had this come part. There ain't no way that this thing's been rode very much It just it just wouldn't have made it so it broke, so JB welded it, and then my couple laps around I did in my yard, some of the metal shavings or something came in, punctured a hole back into the JB weld. This is all JB weld. So yeah. Alright, so what I'm doing here is getting all the parts together. Uh, this is a, I bought a CD off Amazon that's a, oh, uh, owner, or not an owner's manual, a service manual and a, uh, parts catalog for this. So I'm just going in here to the schematics, pulling it up. So I pulled the water pump off. So I need number 12. I just need to gasket. So just minus that out. Come up here to, eBay, copy the part number. Right there it is. It's a 42065-1191 OEM. Add that to the cart. This is just, just, I would never, never, never in my life sell somebody something like this that had this much 
BS on it. You know, just a. I don't know if it showed in this part of the video, but I messaged the guy that I bought this thing off of. But <clears throat> there's a quite a few things it was missing. It's miss. It was missing. Uh, he told me the motor's never been out of the thing. And obviously, you know, when I was there buying it, I didn't pull the plastics off to see, which really didn't matter. I just it was a question I asked. And I told him the, the motor had been out. The fuel tank was bolted in in two spots. Um, the tank had no bolts in it. It was missing 14 bolts on the primary clutch drive cover. It only had three in it. And he told me that he put... Uh, it's got a different primary clutch in it behind uh, the primary clutch that cover bolts on as well and I was missing another four bolts on the back of the cover three bolts on the intake which you have to take the intake off to pull the motor was missing uh, all of the exhaust bolts and the motor mount bolts were finger tight like I mean I went to really jam down on them because I figured they were going to be tight I just about broke my knuckles because it spun so easy uh, and it was missing quite a few hose clamps and other bolts and etc. The wheel bearings were just totally shot on it, which whatever. I mean, that kind of normal, but the front passenger side brake caliper, I, I believe I showed that in the video was, was also damaged and we'll come over here. This is a, another part that I still trying to locate down. but the front diff is broke as well i don't think that's probably cast steel i don't know if i can get that welded i do got the tab for it um zach actually took that off and i don't know what he did with the bolt i kind of glanced around look i'm gonna try to see about getting that welded first but it's kind of really bull crap in my opinion because you know i paid a fair amount of money for this thing and he told me Go ride the crap out of it. That's all it needed. Um, it wasn't there at all. The, this thing, I mean, if you if you look at how, where the SIG broke. Now, I'm not going to complain about the top end or anything. That motor's cherry inside. You know, we checked the valves. Just a little bit of seepage. We'll be able to clean that up. And then we'll go ahead and put new piston rings, wrist pin clips, obviously, because the pistons are out. Gaskets, whatnot. And that's good. That's that's just stuff. I had the motor out. I'm going to do it anyways. I need to check it out. But the, the real reason why I had the motor out was your... Let me see. I gotta remember what case it is here. Oh, just, I mean, for starters, every freaking case is, is busted or, or got a crack in it. It's, oh yeah, right there. So there's the hole pull the ring shaft out and you can see down in there and see where all this stuff is because when this thing is in here turning and you got these gears that are missing chunks and these gears that's missing chunks you know they're coming in and they're gonna slam against this case this guy told me he had this thing for a year and didn't have no problems with it other than he put axles and brake pads and etc on it so he's never had to boat her out bull crap because this wouldn't have lasted it didn't last me riding it around my yard for i maybe put 20 minutes on it because i pulled it off the trailer battery was bad i got that fixed rode it around my yard broke the rear drive shaft because the drive shaft's junk because somebody's tried to rig it up putting new uh u-joints in it and the, the ears on the drive shaft's bent. So I got to order one of those. Well, whatever. He told me the rack and pinion was out. I've already ordered one of those. But oh, just, it, this was really, really ticks me off. Um, but that, that that's broke. There's several of these gears. I think this is the only gear right here that's not broke. And this case is all gnarred up and it's got jb weld and it's got a hole in it so this case is junk so 
you come over here and this case you can clearly see down in there it's kind of hard to to hold the the camera and show let's say and hold this case but there's a crack clear across that case so if i wanted to sit here and rebuild this you had metal shavings go through metal shavings and bearings don't go together so i'd have to replace all these bearings all these cases so you got a bearing here bearing here bearing here bearing here this whole shaft because it's one complete thing 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 so i jump on ebay i find that this shaft's about a thousand dollars this shaft's about four hundred dollars this shaft's about four hundred dollars I found a used set of cases without bear. I mean, it's got bearings in it, but I'm gonna replace the bearings if I ain't gonna put something together. Retarded, I'm trying to not get demonetized here, but you, you need to replace the bearings. So I didn't even bother looking up the bearings. I'm sure I'm looking at bearings and gaskets, so let's just say $250. And I can get a whole gearbox drop in ready for $2,500. So I'm kind of stupid not to just go that route, which that's what I'm doing. But it's just the point of the matter is, is how could somebody sleep at night taking someone's money knowing that they pulled that motor out and did that patch job? And he straight lied to me because he told me he never had the motor out. And he's had the thing for a year. And he rode it all the time, he said, last summer. So you're telling me that gearbox lasted you all summer? Bull. And the person before you did that, but she didn't tell me that. He won't say, he will just totally ignore the subject when I message him. Bull crap. I mean, that is just ridiculous. Like, no way, no way. I have been wrenching for 20 years, 15, 20 years. Um, we'll, we'll just say 15 when I started taking it serious. My dad's been wrenching 40 years. Both of us said, no way, no way. I mean, and, and, and if you guys are any somewhat mechanically inclined, you know the same thing. That just ain't gonna last. And it clunk and do exactly what this thing did to me. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm really fired up. Like, uh, I'm to the point, I think I'm gonna get a lawyer and get my lawyer involved. This is pretty ridiculous at this point. Um, you know, if he would just give me something, you know, and it is a front differential too. I haven't figured that one out yet, but it, it's just, it's just ridiculous. But yeah, so, I mean, we're going to, for on eBay, right there, all right, $2,434 and 13 cents in repairs. That's not including the $100 battery I bought for it, which, whatever. That's not including the $60 and, uh, sorry, my wife's phone going off. Not including the $60 and U joints I replaced. And you know, this ain't even, this ain't even everything. I guess the whole gearbox is $2,000, not $2,500. And, you know, some seals, well, the seals, they still need replaced. But all but $400 of that is the gearbox so far. And, you know, the rack and pinion was $400. It's, it's just, I'm not, I'm not complaining about the money, you know, for having to put in it to fix it up. It's the point of the matter is, is somebody would sell something like this that's such a big Piece of crap. Knew it was gonna just be this it's destroyed. Because I know for a fact they they JB welded this and they had this cover off. And I guarantee you they had this cover off and didn't know what to do. Because this was a pretty complex gear system in here. I mean me or my old man has really seen anything like it. It was kind of confusing how it worked. Kind of got a gist of it. Um but, so they just, they, they, uh, put silly goop all the way around it instead of putting a correct gasket on it. 
I mean, this is a little bit of rant. I, I'm sorry. I'm just yeah, just aggravating by all means. I just, I don't know. But we'll get the parts for it. We'll get it put back together. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today. I, I, I enjoyed it. Uh, working with my dad. I know I didn't get a whole lot of real in-depth and detailed stuff, but I mean, I could tell you all, all of our pistons were just everything in the motor. Motor looked awesome. You want to know why it looked awesome? Because they haven't been in it and haven't touched it. Because everything they've touched on this thing was either missing bolts or broke or rigged up. Just absolutely rigged up, but I mean, look at your pistons versus the walls. I mean, they're just so close into, I mean, almost identical in specs. Uh, but it just, everything's real, real good. So uh, that's a plus. I was gonna tear the bottom end apart on this motor, but after seeing the top end, and I mean, I kind of see down into the bottom end, I didn't see anything. I, I'm, I'm not gonna spend the, the money right now on that. Um, you know, I'll maybe, get through this summer and then maybe next winter I'll tear it down and do the bottom end if I have any problems. But the big thing about it is, is, you know, I come from a, a racing background as far as motocross and, you know, that's, that's kind of, you know, really wasn't using my mechanical knowledge thinking, you know, I asked my dad, I said, well, so what would you do if it was my race bike? You know, you, you wouldn't just do this. Um, I was like, we always went all the way down. He goes, well, the big difference is, is these things ain't wide open and high RPMs all the time. Where, you know, like my 250F, I was constantly wide open all the time. <coughs> screaming at my 450s and stuff, you know, I lugged them a little bit. But they are high performance race motors. These, these are a high performance motor, but they're not getting revved out all the time. Now, you know, if I was drag racing this thing or something where you're wide open all the time, that might be a different story, but I'm not. I'm running around the trails, having some fun. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know, this is just, I can't, can't believe it, how, how you could have a conscience at night and sleep, but, I don't, I don't know, I, that's, that's enough, enough ranting for me, but, um, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and, uh, we'll catch you on part two, uh, reassembling, uh, hopefully that'll be next weekend, we're gonna, I'm gonna get all the parts in, and hopefully get it in, and, um, we actually got a event that we want to go down to a rock crawling event. I think it's, it's the 14th. Yeah, the, the 14th. So we got three weeks to get this thing together. Um, so we'll see. We'll, we're going to do our best to get it together. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed today and don't forget to like, subscribe, and, uh, like, subscribe and hit that notifications bell and comment. So yeah, have a good one. We'll see you guys.